Hi, this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog. Thank you so much for stopping by again. This is part six of our 12-part series, in which I'm reading some stories by Laura E. Richards from her wonderful book, The Golden Windows. And this story is very short. It's a half a page, really. And it's called The Serpent. Three boys were playing together in a field. And as they played, one passing by called to them, Beware! In the corner of that field is a poisonous serpent whose bite is death. Alas, said one child, how terrible to think that anything evil should be in a place so lovely. Let me flee from it. And he wept, and he ran from that place. Why, said the second child, why should such a thing be here? What is the reason for it? And he found himself a safe place and sat down to ponder on the matter. The third child picked up a stone. Show it to me, he said. That's the end. It's an interesting little story, isn't it? Some people in the presence of danger, well, you know, they can't understand why it's there and it scares them so much they book it, they're gone, they cut and run. It's understandable. No blame there. They, just, they, they do what they have to do. Then there are those who live from the neck up. I've done that a couple times. <laughs> and they try to figure out why something happened. Right? Why is the Titanic sinking? It's going down, but it's still going down. No blame there either. They're doing what is comfortable. He found a safe place, the story says, to sit down and ponder the matter. And then there are others who, when something happens like that, they run towards the danger. We've seen this many times. Unfortunately, there have been some tragic things, you know, happening in the world recently. There are people, though, who run towards the danger, who pick up the stones and say, all right, where is it? And, you know, even in my way of thinking, you know, I like to transform the serpents rather than kill them. However, the main point is, there are some who are so afraid they run away. There are some who try to figure things out and they don't do anything until they figured it out. And then there's others who, when they see the need to act, they just do it. So, this is Joseph Anthony of the Wonder Child Blog saying thank you so much for watching part six. Take care.